Season. Season, how's it going? It's going great. Welcome oh. back, another season. Can you believe it? Are you excited for how excited you've been? You've been through quite a few of these season openers, but how does this one feel for you? I'm ecstatic. You know, uh, you know, I love playing football, and you know, just being able to. This is where you about the time when you're like ready to hit someone else. So, you know, that's I'm just happy for that. Two newcomers listed on the depth chart as starters: and Swoboda and Grable. How those two guys gelled in. Uh, they are really good, you know, they, they came in, uh, you know, kind of clicked instantly with the unit. Um, just same thing kind of with all of our guys, but, uh, you know, they've done a really good job. They've worked, you know, their tails off to get in the position that they're in right now. And, um, you know, we're all confident, both of them, to, to be great for us. As the, uh, as the veteran on the offensive line and throughout camp leading into this first game, you have a unique perspective because you play against the linebackers, been a bit of a focus getting them beefed up. What improvement have you seen from them during camp leading into this game? Oh, dude, they, they are, uh, they're, they're going to come down and hit you, I think. I, that's all, I mean, if there's anything, uh, I'm pretty sure T. Will said something about that. And they're, you know, we want our linebackers to be coming in aggressive, and, and they did just that. You know, they uh, just excelled in just being more athletic and, fit in the right spots that they needed to be into. And, uh, you know, when it's time to lay the boom, they're there. What have you seen from John Rice Plumlee since he was a game starter? Uh, you know, just greater, you know, uh, he had a good attention to detail, which is a greater attention to detail, you know, really, uh, you know, taking the starting position seriously. And, and uh, you know, uh, I know he's, you know, he's very uh, proud of it. And, um, he's ready to lead us. And, and, you know, I can see that in practice, the way he, you know, talks to us and the way he uh, leads the offense through and stuff. So, you know, I know he's excited and I'm excited to see him play. Well, tell us, what are we going to see from uh, John Rice on Thursday? What kind of skill set, what kind of plays are you excited to see him make? Uh, you know, I uh, love to see his legs. You know, I like to see it. He's a really good runner and, and he's also an excellent passer. And, uh, you know, just be just, just be himself, you know, and, and I don't think he needs to do anything more than that. And, you know, Wade, he's a very dynamic player and uh, I think we're going to see that on Thursday. Cam Kinney is listed behind you, left guard. What have you, what have you seen from him now just progressing in this game? Oh, he's uh, Cam Kinney is a great player, man. He, he's he's going to be a good addition uh, for our unit, and uh, you know he came out with the mindset of, of playing, and uh, you know he practiced just like that. He did. He's done everything right. Um, you know he's gotten better with our offense and, and, and getting used to everything. And, um, you know he's just done a great job all around. And, uh, you know, I'm excited to see him work, and he's definitely going to be one of those guys that's going to help us out, you know, throughout the season. Can you talk about Thursday, the excitement you had to kind of take the field the first time with this unit? Oh, uh, you know, like I said earlier, super excited. I, I think one of the biggest things just get back into to that uh, stadium and just listen to Night Nation. You know what I mean? To uh, hear, you know, just them, how loud they are, how powerful they are, and, uh, you know, just the electricity uh, and. You know, just being in there, I'm just, I'm just excited, man. There's no, I mean, there's not a lot of words you can say, right? <laughs> How explosive do you think this offense is going to be? Uh, I hope as explosive as we ever been. You know, I, I, I really truly believe that we have all the skill positions, everyone's in the right place, um, and you know, we could be the top offense in the country if we, you know, do what we're supposed to do. With a full year under Gus under your belt, what's the comfort level heading into this opener as opposed to last year's? Uh, you know, just like with everything, whenever you are working through an offense, the more time you have, the just the more comfortable, the faster you are as an offense. Um, and so I would say that's probably the biggest thing, just, you know, being comfortable uh, pacing and doing the tempo stuff that we need to do and being lined up in the right positions. And, um, you know, you see that across everywhere, the skill position and the uh, O-line, uh, just knowing what to do and just letting us play as fast as possible. Mentioned being excited to hit somebody else in a different color jersey. Yeah. Uh, watching film and studying for this game, what's kind of something that jumps off the page for you about this opponent? Uh, you know, they work really hard. Uh, they are like like Coach was saying. You know, they were trying nine of their starters on defense, and uh, you know, just that unit. They play really hard, and, and you know, they're coached very well. And you know, they got guys. Their front seven are uh, extremely uh, athletic and, and strong. And you know, we're gonna have to. We, we're gonna take them as serious as we would take any other opponent. When it comes to John Rice, he hasn't played quarterback for a couple of years. Is there such a thing as being rust, and how quickly can that be? Uh, I mean, I don't know if there's such a, I mean, by, I would know by, uh, by now, I mean, perhaps 23 might not be a more rust on there. But, uh, you know, I, I, I think uh, for a lot of us, you know, when we're a little bit older, you know, you kind of have to get back in the swing of things, but it, it happens really fast. Um, and especially for game time, you know, I think we're all going to be ready. And uh, I, won't, I don't imagine him having any rust. And, you know, I think that's the way he's attacking it. How important 
is it for you to end your collegiate career as a conference champion? Uh, you know, it's just it's an ultimate goal, and um, you know, it's just it's. I, mean, I didn't want to come back here to not you know be a contender and to not win it, um, and so it's something I take a lot of pride in. Uh, and you know, it, we talk about it as as another line. You you know, it, it rests on our shoulders for a lot of it. So um, you know, it, it's everything I want, and uh, I, I feel really good about it. As a leader and a captain of this team, tell me a little bit about just kind of. What are you looking forward to the most as like the newer guys kind of playing their first time in the bounce house? Because you got that experience. So what are you telling those guys that are like shooting this out just to get out there on Thursday and just staying locked in? I'm just excited for them to enjoy the moment, you know, especially when you're in, in that bounce house, you know, it's every moment, it's, uh, it's, it's just something that you'll never forget. And, you know, I'm excited for them to experience it for the first time. I'm excited for them to get out there and, and uh, do what they've been working so hard to do for the last uh, month and two months in, uh, in the off season. Um, just excited to see them play and, and you know, just just know that Night Nation is the best uh, band base in college football, you know. Did you catch any about Nebraska, Northwestern, and Ireland on Saturday? Uh, I didn't I, I didn't watch it. I was uh, at Disney, but I saw, the, uh, I saw what happened. Uh, Are you surprised that Frost has struggled like he has since he left UCF? Uh, you know, I just I just know that, uh, I mean, I, I, it's kind of <laughs> it's kind of hard, I guess, uh, but uh, I know he's a great coach and, and I know he was trying to be aggressive in that. Um, you know, it's just some things might not click as well as they did down here, up there. And, um, you know, I, I wish him the best. I hope he wins the rest of his games. Cheers. 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 Cheers.